Hello, Jenny. I hear that you are going to build a tissue machine here on stage. I will so in a sec. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Looking forward. Go right ahead. Thank you. So today I will elaborate on how Valmet with our hybrid technologies can supply uh, the tissue market with tissue lines that produce high quality tissue in a sustainable way. I will do so by comparing the hybrids with dry crepe, our DCT concept, uh, in different perspectives, energy and water consumption, fiber savings and carbon dioxide emissions. So, but firstly, I'd like to brief you on our hybrid concept and what it consists of. So it's three uh, machine concepts, NTT, QRT, and ETAD, and the ETAD you actually see being built right in front of me. So, and these all three technologies have been developed uh, to meet the market needs and to tighten up the gap between the conventional DCT and, on the other hand, the TAD concept. And they are to, as I said, to, to be chosen when you uh, want to prioritize product quality as well as, as energy uh, savings. But also, if you want the flexibility in your product portfolio, to also being able to run DCT-like products and production rates. So, I will start the comparison, and I have used the average of these three machine technologies uh, as hybrid result. So, to the first comparison. I, I, I'm talking about fiber savings in this case. I have used a 200 ton per day machine, double width, uh, and with different uh, efficiencies for the DCT and the hybrids, it ends up at net production of 190 and 180 tons per day. And base sheet caliper, as you can see here, 120 versus 240. So quite a big difference. So, how can we utilize the fact uh, that we have a higher uh, caliper of the hybrids? Well, you can uh, either take it out in volume, length, or reduce basis weight, or play around with your amount of plies in the final products. And you can see here as an example the first roll here, same diameter, 110 versus 83 grams. So that's a 25% savings, uh, fiber savings only there. So, in the end of the den day, then, how many rolls does this mean? Well, it's 400,000 more rolls per day actually coming out from a hybrid machine. 2 million versus 1.6 million. And to illustrate this, I will show a short movie on what this means in, in, in others' pers perspective. So, let's have a look. So, quite a lot of rolls. And actually, these amount of rolls can, if we would like to, fill up two Olympic um, swimming pools in just two days. And if you talk about the length instead, you can stack these extra rolls on top of each other and you would actually, and you will see that, reach the top of Mount Everest five times every day. These extra rolls corresponds to 30 tons per day extra fiber. And in the end of the day, that means a potential saving of 420 trees every day. And again, looking at the length, throwing out the paper roll, it will reach around the world every week. So quite interesting how, how far we can get with, with just these savings, 400,000 rolls. So now take a look at the sustainability in another way, comparing comp uh, quality uh, of the product with uh, roll weight. And here you can see, I will start with a toilet paper from the European market. And in the diagram, you see softness uh, on the y-axis and uh, roll weight on the x-axis. The gray area representing DCT and the green one representing hybrid uh, concept. So, taking the average of these two areas, uh, comparing at similar tensile strength, I get the results in the table here. 
So, as I said, a similar basis weight in this case, uh, quite a big difference in, in caliper, and you see a five unit higher, higher smoothness. Uh, so that's quite a lot. And going over to roll geometries, uh, comparing the same diameter of the roll, uh, we have the 130 versus uh, a 90, and that is over 25% uh, in fiber saving in this case. Now, taking the next case, uh, I am moving over to towel products and, and using the same reasoning here, but instead I have water absorption on the y-axis. Uh, taking uh, the average of the DCT, the gray areas, and, and the average of, of the hybrids in the green areas, I get the following table. So, a slightly lower basis weight, um, higher uh, caliper, and in this case, you see a 9.4 versus 12.7 uh, in water absorption favoring the hybrid technologies. And that, that is 35% only there. A uh, little bit less fiber saving in this case, and you see on the uh, roll, roll, uh, uh, same roll diameter, uh, you see the weights, 150 versus 130, that is a little bit over 10%. So, as a customer then, how can I choose between the different concepts that Valmet supplies? And what benefits, how can I see that? So, I will um, bring in the TAD concept here, and let's start from a product quality standpoint. In the gray bars, you, uh, you see the DCT, and it's a reference of 100%, and the blue ones are the TAD. So, uh, quite a big difference, and we know, we know this, bulk 45, favoring 45% 45 uh, better with the TAD, softness 16%, and absorption is almost uh, double the, with the TAD. Now, introducing uh, the hybrid technology, 35% uh, of bulk, 6% higher, uh, smoother compared to DCT, and the water absorption of 35%, as I mentioned earlier. Then, from a sustainability uh, standpoint, uh, looking at the single toilet roll here, and blue is still TAD, D DCT is, is the, the gray ones. So 30% less uh, fibers usage with, with the TAD, almost double uh, amount of water uh, usage for the TAD, and 50% carbon dioxide footprint uh, increase for, for the TAD. Now, again, introducing the hybrid technologies, uh, we see the fiber, fiber efficiency, 25% um, less, about the same water consumption uh, compared to the DCT, and carbon dioxide footprint 7% lower with the hybrids compared to the DCT, mainly coming from that we we have less fibers in, in the final product. So, to summarize what I have uh, uh, discussed today and uh, talked about, um, I started with comparing how many rolls you get out of a hybrid machine, and that is 400,000, 20% more rolls coming out at a higher quality. That is actually enough to supply 1.4 more million people with toilet paper every day. So, and at last, I also talked about carbon uh, footprint and the carbon emissions. So we have, uh, as an average, 7% lower emissions uh, from the hybrid technology. So, with that, I would like to thank you for your attention and hope you got the perspective and some insights into hybrid technologies and that you have some more motivation to further discuss with me or my colleagues on what kind of technology would fit your to the best in the future. Thank you. I had no idea there were so many ways to produce tissue paper. Thank you so much, Anna. This was very interesting. Thank you.